Hello, guys. This is Lydia, the Lifestyle Coach, and Happy New Year. I know it's been a little while since we have done a live feed, so I'm so excited to be back in with you guys and want to just celebrate an amazing year. I know that we have talked to so many of you who you said 2018 is going to be the year that I'm finally done with my eating disorder, and you guys did it. And you guys have, you know, seen that and celebrated with us. And we've been cheering on these incredible people, you know, that after 25, 35, 45 years of struggling with, you know, binge eating, bulimia, overeating, emotional eating, compulsive eating, body hate, food obsession, all of that are finally done and free. I want to celebrate a couple of our grads. We had somebody after 45 years of having binge eating disorder completely absolutely free um, in about you know four or six weeks working with us. She was around that range um, and she's completely done. And this has just opened up her entire life. She just bought her dream home. She just moved to uh, the coast, you know, where she had been wanting to move for her whole life, um, you know, retiring and just in loving it. Um, another actually on the, the note of retiring, want to celebrate another one of our grads who went on an incredible trip to nine countries in two weeks with her friends um, after she she was 40 years of binge eating, um, completely done and free in about four weeks working with us. And she was able to go and really live the retirement that she wanted to because she's free and done and has that energy and isn't going to go to these places and be binging, you know, celebrating some of our young clients, you know, college students who, you know, are barely just starting into their lives and into their careers and realize that they would never be able to, you know, have the careers that they wanted. They would never be able to, you know, really put into play all this that they'd worked so hard for in school if they didn't fix their eating disorders now. And now they are absolutely free. A shout out to the amazing moms who have graduated from our program, who are able to really pass this freedom onto their children that were so worried about their children's their children getting eating disorders that their children had already been exhibiting eating disorder behaviors and they knew that they had to fix this for them to be able to be examples to their children i just i honor you guys i'm celebrating with you i'm so excited for you and mwah, just want to say happy happy 2018 we're celebrating that and going into an amazing amazing 2019 for so many of you will be getting free and just a thrill to go over another super important topic today so hi I'm Lydia, the lifestyle coach, and what we do here is we end eating disorders all the way. We're not managing eating disorders. We're not going into some fad diet so that you can lose some weight and then gain it all back plus some. Uh, we're not doing a temporary fix here. We're not looking for the, the magic thing that's going to click and just cure everything overnight. We are about real, absolutely permanent change all the way from all the food crazies, whether that's binge eating or bulimia or overeating or emotional eating or stress eating or whatever you want to call it, falling off the wagon, struggling with food, thinking about food too much, whatever it is, it all comes down to the same thing that can be ended when we really use our brains and know how to navigate our brains. I'm not talking about using your brains like be smart and be done with your eating disorder. I'm talking about really changing the wiring in your brain that is now wired in this compulsive habit with food and changing that permanently so that your desires are completely different and you don't have an eating disorder anymore because you physically in your brain don't have an eating disorder. You don't have those patterns anymore. And so I just want to congratulate you guys who have done that so beautifully. And we're going to talk a little bit today about a cool thing of how to think about this process so that you can really know what's happening with your eating and be able to fix that all the way. So ending eating disorders, using nothing but your brains. That's what we're doing. I'm Lydia, the lifestyle coach, and let's go ahead and launch in. Okay, so I want you guys to think about an analogy of a maze today. We're going to go over that. That'll be sort of a helpful visual for your brain. So think of yourself in a maze, like the beginning of a maze, and what you want to do is you want to get at the other end. And the maze is like your struggles with eating, whatever it is right now. Just take a moment and just think for you, what is the thing happening right now with food that if it continues for the rest of your life, you would not be okay with that? If you are thinking this much about food all day, if you're worried about going into the break room because there's food there, if you're worried about going out with people because there's food there, if that persisted for the rest of your life, would you have the life that you wanted? If not, maybe that's your thing. Maybe it's emotional eating. Maybe it's when things are stressful, you always turn to food. Maybe it's a 
a cycle where you're doing some sort of, you know, binging and then purging, whether that's over exercise, whether that's starvation, whether that's laxatives, whether that's, you know, chewing and spitting, whatever it is that you're trying to sort of undo the damage with food. If that persisted for the rest of your life, would you be okay with it? If not, then okay. That's where you're at at the beginning of your maze. And as soon as you get at the other end of the maze, you're done. That's like the analogy for solving your eating disorder. But we're going to talk a little bit about some roadblocks today that is going to help you guys to be able to expedite the wandering around the maze that can really take a lifetime. And I want to help you guys to do it in a more direct way so that you can really be done with this without all the confusion and without all of the exhaustion. So let's talk about that. The problem is, is that a lot of times when we start out with struggling with food, we have no idea what's going on. We just have an idea of, oh, I have no willpower. We have some sort of beginning label. Oh, I stress eat. Oh, I'm such a chocoholic. We put some sort of label on it. We have some sort of understanding of it. And then we try to look for ways to fix it, right? But we don't really know what's going on. We think it has something to do with food because we're eating, right? But then we have this noise in the back of our mind like, oh, maybe it doesn't have to do with food. Maybe it has to do with something else. Well, you know, I'm eating when I'm stressed. Maybe it actually has to do with stress. And so we start coming up with all of these theories. Then the more that we search for answers, the more confused we get. We really live in an information world where with anything that's going on, you can do a Google search and you can find out all sorts of information. But the problem with that information overload is that it gets very confusing and can often lead us down the wrong path in this maze that we're trying to get out of. So it's looking at this maze and you're wandering around and you're looking at the walls around you and you see, oh, well, there's an option, there's an option. And you have this feeling at the beginning, especially of like, okay, well, look, I'm in this maze and I just need to get out. So I'll just do it. Like, I'll go and I bet as, as soon as I turn this corner, that'll be it. I think as soon as I turn this corner, I'm going to be it. I, I have a good feeling about this. That's it. I think that's what's going on with me. And so you turn the corner and you're like, this is it. This is the way. This is how I'm going to do it to get out of this maze. But you turn the corner and you find out like, oh, okay, there's more maze. I guess this maze is bigger than I thought it was. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. And the feeling is, okay, if I just keep going, I'm going to figure it out. If I just keep going, I'm going to figure it out. And a lot of us come to this problem with a lot of optimism and a lot of energy because we are very motivated to get done with this because it's something that is impacting us in so many ways. And so you start out with that hope and that spark and like, all right, let's go ahead and do this. And we look for help, right? We look for help in the way that we are so apt to look for help in this day and age. We do a Google search. We start asking people. We start sort of doing a survey. We see, you know, what other people are saying. and so. We just Google something like, okay, why am I eating so much? Or, you know, why do I have these really strong cravings? And what happens is you get a ton of different stuff. So you turn this corner in this maze saying like, okay, I'm going to do this Google search. I'm going to figure this out. Feel good about this. And you think you're going to turn and there's going to maybe be a door to the outside of the maze. And instead, you turn in this maze and you see that there are way more directions to go than you thought. Because after that Google search, it's, oh, okay, I guess it's emotional eating. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's that I don't have coping mechanisms. Oh, well, maybe it's because I'm actually deficient in this vitamin. Oh, okay, maybe it's because I don't have the right eating plan. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm not fulfilled in my relationship. Or maybe I'm not fulfilled in my for career. Or maybe I'm not fulfilled oh, in myself. Oh, it's probably a self-esteem issue. Oh, or maybe that it's that I don't have willpower. Oh, actually, I think it's my stress. Oh, well, maybe it's I have too many problems in my life. I need to control my circumstances. Wow, what it really all comes down to is it's probably my past trauma. And then in getting out of this eating disorder maze, what you're seeing is like, okay, well, I guess I have 20 directions to choose. And you're standing there and you're thinking like, okay, well, this person said this and this person seems that and this th seems more valid than the other. And you sort of willy-nilly on your own try because you care and you keep wanting to move forward. You go one direction in the maze. Well, let's try this. I think this will be it. Um, I think that it's I don't have the right eating plan. I probably need to eat in a better way. That's going to solve it. So sort of picking one out of a hat, I bet I need a better eating plan. All right. So what eating plan? You turn that corner in the maze of the, okay, well, let's try that. I don't have the right eating plan direction. And then you're Googling that. 
right? Then you're seeing all of these options of like, oh, okay, well, maybe I should be eating this way or maybe I should be eating that way or, oh, this is, you know, clinically studied. Oh, well, this is most popular. Oh, well, this would be easiest with my lifestyle or this seems more sustainable or this seems like quicker. And so then you sort of pick something out of a hat again of like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'll go ahead and try this. And it's one of these things where it's like a hydra, right? It's like you cut off one head and then it's got two. Okay, too many analogies now. Let's stick with the maze. <laughs> so you're in the maze and you go another direction of maybe something's wrong with my eating. And then you have all of these different options. Okay, well, let's try this. Let's see if this fixes it. And you're getting a little bit discouraged now because this maze is way bigger than you thought it was going to be. And this way, maze has way more options than you thought. And it's taking a lot more time than you thought. But you pick one. You try to do your best. And the scary thing is, is that the eating actually gets worse. You're like, okay, well, this is going to be the way to eat. You know, you watch all these videos about, oh, well, this is the perfect way to do this way of eating. And it's worked for so many other people and it's cured all these diseases. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool that I pick something that's like a cure for cancer and a cure for energy and like something that makes you so you don't age anymore. Awesome. And I've seen a hundred videos to back that up all right, I'm all ready. I've got all the food from the store. I spent $400 on getting all the right stuff. I got the book. I'm all ready. And then you get super into it. And maybe it lasts for a week, depending on how long you've been trying this. Maybe it lasts for four weeks. Maybe it lasts for three days. It tends to last a shorter and shorter amount of time the more you've sort of gone through this process. But just like a maze, you go and you walk and you walk and you walk in that direction until you just realize this is a dead end. Like there's nothing here. It doesn't matter what any of the videos say. It doesn't matter what this book says. It's not working for you because what you're seeing is that you took all this time to go down this direction and your eating has actually gotten worse. And you're concerned about it because you're like, oh wow, like my eating is worse than it used to be. I got into this maze of like, okay, I've got to fix my eating disorder. I've got to fix my issues with eating, whatever you're labeling it. And you're like, well, this is actually worse. When I try to do it this way, I actually am eating more of the stuff that I shouldn't be. Now that I'm trying not to eat carbs, well, now I'm binging on carbs. Well, that's kind of scary. Okay, well, this is definitely a dead end. So you go all the way back and you trace your way back in the maze and you go back to the 10,000 options of, oh, okay, well, maybe this is the way to eat. And you pick another eating plan. Okay. Well, then you start going down that direction and you go down that direction until you find out that's a dead end. And then you go all the way back. And now instead of being something that you're like, hey, I'm going to you know, get this done this month. Now it's been a year. It's been 12 months that you've been going down and down and down. And now it's a new year and you're like, you know, this is not working. Like trying to eat in all these different ways. I feel like it's actually getting harder to control my eating. Okay. Well, you know what? maybe this wasn't the right direction in the maze. Maybe it was, I don't have the right eating plan. Maybe it was, you know what? This is the common thread. I have no willpower. I can't stick with any of these diets. It's probably a willpower problem. And then you get all excited about this new thing and you're like, oh my gosh, it's the willpower thing. So now you go even further back in the maze. And now you're at the beginning where it's like, oh, okay, there are all these different options about, okay, maybe it's that I don't have the right eating plan. Well, let's go down the next hall, which is, Maybe it's just willpower. All right, so now you're getting into willpower. Now you're watching all the videos on willpower. And now, you know, you're all into it. And all the while, you keep on finding over and over that you hit these dead ends where more time in your life has been wasted on just the searching and the looking because you don't know where to go with this, but you're determined to keep trying. And every single time that you try, every single you know, amount of effort that you spend on walking all the way through this part of the maze only to find it's a dead end makes you feel even more messed up. And you went from having one problem, which is, oh, I've really got to get my eating under control to having so many more. Well, now I have the problem of I can't stick to a diet and I can't eat healthy anymore. And in fact, now I'm rapidly gaining weight because I keep on binging on the stuff that I'm trying not to eat on a diet. And now you have the problem of, oh, I have no willpower. Now I'm a person with no willpower. Now I have to fix that problem. And the problem gets bigger and bigger. And it's so much time and energy because we just want to be done with this. We just want this to be fixed. And so we're willing to put so much energy into it, but it gets harder and harder as we keep on hitting these dead ends. So it's not uncommon 
to be spending four hours a day of going and, you know, trying something else, doing some sort of research, you know, okay, we're going to listen to a podcast for an hour on the way on the commute, you know, to work. Okay. We're, we're going to listen to a video on the way back from work. That's, you know, that two hours. Okay. We're going to be on our Kindle and reading, you know, some book about willpower, you know, that night. Okay. Well, that's another hour. Okay. We're going to spend, you know, an hour with meal planning for the next day because we've got to have the right meal plan. And it just gets super exhausting. If you're spending four hours a day in your free time trying to figure this out, if you're thinking about like the, the waking hours that you're living in 12 hour days, four hours a day turns out to be four months a year, four months out of your year every year. And it starts taking a lot of your life and it's incredibly exhausting and it's incredibly frustrating. And then you start getting more scared of picking directions in the maze. You start hesitating longer at each long, dark hall that you know is going to lead to 20 more different options because you're so exhausted from the first one and it did nothing for you. In fact, it actually made things worse. And so you're really scared about trying anything new. In fact, we had a client who came to us when she first talked to us and wanted to be done with this. She's, I mean, she's now completely free after 25 years of overeating and this really wrecking her health. She's absolutely completely free after just a few weeks of working with us. But when she first came to us, she was so scared of getting the help that she needed with our team because she said, and I, I think this is such an important and profound thing that she said. She said, I cannot take one more failure. I cannot take one more failure. It gets so exhausting to go down all of these different halls of this maze. And then you start thinking, you know what? I am so tired of spending more money and spending more time on this. And you start thinking there's actually something wrong with you. Well, maybe it's that not that I need to find the right direction in the maze. Maybe there's just not a way out. Maybe this is a me problem. Maybe there's something truly wrong with me so that things don't work for me because nothing's working. You have a lot of evidence for that. And here's sort of the scary thing that happens is that when we start giving up that hope and we have that frustration because we've tried so hard, what happens is that we start trying things that are more and more extreme. So the things that at the beginning we would have said, oh, okay, well, yeah, I mean, there are, you know, 20 options in this maze, but I would never do those down at the end. That's scary. That's dangerous. That can hurt your heart. That can hurt your liver. That's really extreme. That's surgery. You can die from that. When we start eliminating all of those different halls in the maze and realizing that none of them work, the scary ones at the end are seeming like, well, maybe that's where the answer is. Maybe the door is at the end of that. Maybe it's worth just trying, even though that seems so scary. And we start doing things that we are really opposed to, you know, things that can really hurt our health in just trying this to make it, you know, better. You know, we have so many women that are like, man, I started taking these, you know, pills that I knew were not good for me, that I would, I would I hid it from everyone because I'd never want anyone to know I'd do something so dangerous, but I was just so desperate to fix this. You know, we've had people that said, you know, I would never do something so extreme as surgery. We coached a woman the other day where, you know, she had spent $30,000 out of pocket to get a weight loss surgery. Um, you know, to be able to try to control her eating. And that was something that she was so opposed to before, but she was just so desperate because it seems like everything else is making it worse. And after all that, she spent another $20,000 and so many years of pain because she had to go back and get multiple follow-up surgeries because there were so many complications from that surgery that she knew were a risk, but she was just so desperate to fix this. And she had gained all of her weight back plus some. So she was back at the beginning of this maze, completely injured and you know, tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And where do we go from here? That's when you really start questioning, like, man, is there something wrong with me? And you start you know, losing that hope. And now it feels like I have to. Like before it was like, well, you know, I would like to fix this, but now it's an emergency. Before it was, I've got to figure out why I can't lose this 10 pounds. And now it's like, and now it's like I've got to figure out why I've gained 80 pounds. And I have all of these health issues and I have all this anxiety around food. And so when you start giving up hope and you just get so frustrated, you don't want to give any more to this. You get so tired of it. You know, 
you start doing things like, okay, well, I'm only going to do things now, but only if they're free, because I'm so tired of spending money on this. And you know what, I've done so many things that even if you don't know what works yet, obviously, because you're still struggling with this, you don't know what works, you start getting picky, like, okay, but it can't be this, and it can't be that. And you start trying to look for your designer thing, that's going to be the thing that you think that you need, but you still don't know how to figure this out. And then you start missing really important valid solutions, because you're so disenchanted with everything and everyone because you've been doing this for the past 10 years. But either way, it just keeps getting worse. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's an emotional issue. And then you go all the way back to the beginning of the maze. And you're starting to run out of energy. And it's a really hard place to be. I get that frustration. I've been there. We've talked to so many people who it's literally been 20 40 years of their life that they've been doing this, wandering around in this maze, trying to fix this problem. So deep breath. I really want to simplify this for you guys. And I want to just be completely real with you. And I just want to be completely honest with you. Because if there's one thing that we know how to do, it's how to end this problem. And the longer that you go, I know the harder that it feels because there are so many things that don't work. But the hard thing about those things is that most of the solutions out there, and I'm putting that in quotes, like most of those actually make things worse. So it makes your maze more complex and it gives you more dead ends. And I know how difficult that is. So the problem is, is that we are in this maze and we're trying all these different solutions on our own. We're trying to figure out on our own. It's this information age of like, okay, I'm just going to keep Googling and I'm just going to keep trying and I'm just going to keep on getting more information. And that information overload actually like complicates things even more. You know, we're living in that age of like, okay, well, if I want to get something done, I'll just look up how to do it online. And I realize that this is a video that you're probably watching. I understand that, but I'm also going to be real with you. And I'm going to let you know that your answer to be done with this all the way is not in this one video or any one video that's going to give you a magic key that's going to unlock everything. And it's going to be the solution for what you've struggled with for 20 years. But there is a way and there is a solution and you can be done. We see it hundreds and hundreds of times. We've seen it with hundreds of people who have been in that same frustrating situation and now they're free. But this is the first question. With all the things that you're trying to do on your own and with all these different paths that you're going down, you just want to ask yourself, is it working? Is it working? And if so, great. But if not, that means that something has to change. And it's not just another, okay, well, let's try the next thing that comes up on a Google search. Because stumbling upon a problem that you've been struggling with, it's been getting worse for 20 years, it's probably not going to be stumbling upon that solution. I mean, to say solution rather than problem. You're not going to stumble upon your answer that you've got to have real and you've got to have intentional change with somebody who knows the answer and knows exactly how to navigate this. So let's go back to our maze, right? You're in your maze. You've been wandering around in this maze for 20 years. You've eliminated a hundred things that are dead ends. You know what's not working, but the maze just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and you keep on wandering. What you've got to have is you've got to know and get the help of somebody who has a different vantage point on that maze. Somebody who, who can look from a bird's eye view and let you know what are dead ends before you go down and spend a year of your life trying to figure that out. So you can go back to the beginning and then have somebody who now that you've stored up some energy and you're so exhausted, but you're like, okay, like let's do this. Somebody to partner with you who's sitting with that bird's eye view so that you can ask them so that you're not on your own with this anymore. So you can stand in this vast maze and say, hey, where do I go? What works? And you don't have somebody standing next to you in the maze. It's like, well, I don't know. I'm really struggling. Let's be accountability partners and figure out this maze together. No, you're still both in the maze at the same vantage point. You've got to have somebody who's gotten out of the maze and who can look with that bird's eye view and let you know, hey, this is exactly where you need to go. This is exactly what you need to do. I've been there. I'm out of it. And I can see your maze right now. If you go that way, it's a dead end. If you go this way, it gets you closer to being absolutely done with this. And when you can be in a maze, no matter how complex it is, if you have somebody from a bird's eye view, letting you know, okay, take a left, take a right, take a left, take a right, you can be out of that maze. That's why we can take somebody who has been struggling with this for 40 years 
and in a matter of a month or two, have them be completely done with their eating disorder. Because we can see from that view, because we know exactly how to get out of the maze. And you can be able to ask questions and you can be able to partner with somebody who actually sees it from a perspective that can be helpful for you because we've been there. We know exactly what to do. And we see this all the time. We have clients who, multiple clients have told us this exact same thing. They're like, wow, I have gotten more done. I have made more progress. I have more freedom in one week than I have in 25 years of therapy. It's like, all right, awesome, yes. Because what we do is based off of the data of what actually works. We understand eating disorders. We understand exactly where you need to go to get out of this maze. But it's something where if you're trying to figure it out on, its own, on your own, it can be very complex. So you've got to do what's efficient because you don't have energy to do this for the rest of your life. And it's not like you have the same problem. The problem keeps on getting worse every time that you do something on your own that doesn't work. And so you've got to be able to see it from that vantage point and partner with somebody who can be able to show you the exact way out. So you can be out all the way and not be stuck in this any longer to know just what to do and when. And that's exactly what we do based off of the data of what has actually freed the hundreds of people before you. If you're watching this and you want to be done with this, like everyone started out where you're at of being in that maze and being confused and not knowing what to do. And everyone that we have coached is on the other side of that and has that freedom, realize like, oh, okay, once you can see it from a different perspective, then you can know exactly how to navigate out of this maze and be completely free. So think of that analogy with really being efficient in what you're doing. That's a really important piece. I uh, love that you guys are on today. So fun to see you. Again, this is Lydia, the lifestyle coach. And if you really want help navigating this maze, and if you really want to be done and you want to be out of this, and you're tired of wandering around in all of these dead ends, if you just want to be able to see exactly what's going on, that's actually the foundation of freedom. We have to know exactly what your maze is. We need to see exactly what's happening for you. And we are doing that for you for free in our breakthrough session. So if you go to lifewithlydia.com slash apply, you can have a free breakthrough session with our team where we're going to help you get a foundation of what's happening here so we can let you know exactly how to get out of this maze and what the next step is for you and we're willing to do that in about an hour set aside about an hour and a half in case you have questions we want to be able to really have you have the experience of knowing solidly a plan of what to do for your particular maze of how to get out and done with this forever and you can go to lifewithlydia.com slash apply snag a session with us where we're going to walk you right through this process and again, this is Lydia, the Lifestyle Coach, signing off. Bye, guys.